In India, there is free education, but some tribal areas, schools, not available. So, we had to start. The name of the school is Kali Umani. It is located in Kenchalgudu village, 15 kilometers from the heart of the city. The children come from our villages. The mainstream education system considers that each child is capable of learning a fixed amount of information within a stipulated period of time. If everybody learns that, that is fine. If not, I don't The moment the child comes here, we don't start the lessons. It's free to roam, roam around. During that period, we watch the child. What are the positive qualities? What are the negative qualities? One day we sit with the child, and then we assess the academic knowledge. Suppose a child, 11 year old child, or 12 year old child, then only two digit addition, then no three digit addition, and then three digit addition has to be taught. That is our curriculum. It's fixed based on the each child's current level. There is no fixed period of admission in our school. The child can join the school. Because there is no fixed period for the child to fall into difficult situations. Kids are not the group only on the basis of age. Several factors are there. One is age, another is the learning ability, learning interest, and the current knowledge. Man is not an individual, it is part of the society, part of the world, isn't it? So holistic approach is very much required for emotional well-being. It's very much required. It uses a lot of uh, activity-based learning. For example, there's a band, there's a code. Yeah, because itself is a different. Duties are different depending upon the age. Child is small, doesn't do any duty, he brushes and goes to school, plays, that's so. all. As child grows up, say around 10 years old, 11 years old, they learn to do a certain task, that is keeping their surroundings clean, sweeping, then half a certain point, but the minimum works they do. We derive inspiration from the ideals of Swami Vivekananda Shriyami. Philosophy that uh, school is for the children, not that way. That's the main philosophy. So we are ready to bend any rule in favor of the children. We don't conduct examinations here, and there are no annual examinations. So, what is the purpose of conducting an examination? To know whether a child has learned or not, and to devise new systems of learning. That can be achieved very easily by conducting some test weekends without instilling fear in each children. So we have abolished the great system. In fact, we create rules so that it is favorable to the children. Even the holidays, we stagger the holidays. If a Christian boy is there, we give holiday for Christmas. If there is a Muslim boy is there, we give holiday for Muslim festival. Everything depends on the child. The teacher is a friend, philosopher, guide, everything. And children call us Akka sister. The healthy money, the healthy sign of the school, why they should wear a key. It is true among the staff members, it is true among the children also. Why they should be.